Hi, I'm meteorologist TJ Del Santo with an afternoon update for you on today's uh, multifaceted weather system. We are looking at still a heat advisory, even down to the south coast. Feel like temperatures will be well into the 90s this afternoon. Let's track them. It'll feel like it's in the mid to upper 90s inland, low 90s at the coastline with temperatures actually topping out about 90 degrees or so in the Providence area. Tomorrow, doing it all over again with the heat and the humidity, it'll feel like close to 100 degrees. For today, we have a flood watch in effect. We are expecting a round of uh, heavy rain and strong to severe thunderstorms to work their way through the area. Let's track them. Latest information here with our hour by hour forecast taking you through the afternoon. Three o'clock in the afternoon. Now, these are the storms that I'm most concerned about to potentially produce a tornado. The ones that'll be working into uh, western New England, perhaps even into uh, northern Connecticut. I'm thinking the ingredients will be there more than here in southern, uh, southeastern New England, meaning Rhode Island and southeastern Mass. Still, we are going to be seeing a round of uh, strong thunderstorms, if not severe, coming to our area during the late afternoon and evening hours. Some could produce some damaging wind gusts, a slight chance of a tornado, but heavy rain is the primary threat, which could produce some uh, uh, flooding across the area in addition to a lot of lightning. It's mostly out of here by 8 o'clock, then skies clear out, and tomorrow we're looking at a storm-free day. Here's the uh, situation for this afternoon and evening. Slight chance of uh, seeing some severe weather here in southern New England. On a scale of 1 to 5, we're at a 2. Strong wind gusts, torrential rain, lightning, and again, the slight chance of a tornado. Best chance of seeing a tornado, as I mentioned, Hartford on off to the north into uh, western Massachusetts. Now, the chance here, as you can see, there is a bit of a shading here, and it's not zero. It's just not as great of a chance as what I think will be happening out there in uh, Connecticut and Massachusetts. A lot going on today. Also have a high surf advisory because the winds are picking up. We're going to be seeing the surf kick up to three to six feet across all of uh, Rhode Island and uh, Massachusetts so south coastal beaches, especially the ones that are, are facing the ocean. High rip current risk at area beaches. Please stay off of rocks and jetties. We'll have partly sunny skies. Some areas of fog hanging around out there, and there is the chance for some showers and thunderstorms, especially late in the afternoon and evening. Let's take a look at what we're expecting in terms of winds gusting 35, 40 miles an hour. As a result of that, we are looking at a gale warning out on Narragansett Bay as well as into Block Island Sound. Keep that in mind, boaters. Best not to be out on the water. Winds could be gusting to 35 knots. Waves in the bay, 1 to 3 feet. Visibility obviously poor in those storms that will be coming on through later on. So high temperatures today. We're going to be uh, around 90 degrees or so with a chance for some uh, thunderstorms, especially later in the afternoon and evening. Some of them could mean business. Evening storms, then partly cloudy. Overnight lows down to 74. Warm and humid overnight. Tomorrow... I think we're storm free, but we are looking at a hot and humid day, about 92 degrees. Saturday, more heat, more humidity, chance for showers, thunderstorms, especially in the p.m. on Saturday. Second half of the weekend looks a lot more comfortable and will be storm free as well. So a lot to track th throughout the afternoon. This will be a good time to download our Pinpoint Weather 12 app. We'll be sending you alerts as needed throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours.